Hey y'all, Jen Hernandez, Loan with Jen. Budgeting, how much house can you afford? We are gonna go over that in this video. Talk to you in a minute. Hey, we're back. Okay, so how do you know how much house you can afford? So this video is gonna go over some tips. It's not the all in, everybody's budget's a little bit different, but it's gonna give you some guidance on figuring out how much house can you afford. And we're also gonna go over how the lender calculates how much house you can afford. So first, please like, share, and subscribe. I release two videos a week. We've got over 200 videos in our library about home buying and tips and tricks and uh, hopefully lots of good information to save you hours of research online. So let's get to it, budgeting. How much house can you afford? So the first thing that you should do when you sit down and figure out what you can afford is you've got to know your survival number. So you should get a list out. You might have a program already that does it, but like in Excel, I would just get out a plain white piece of paper if all else fails and write down all of the things that are mandatory that you must pay per month. So even your Starbucks habit or you know things that you afford for yourself that you're like, you know, I've just got to have these, I've got to have a manicure pedicure, I've got to go golfing once a week uh, or twice a week or whatever. Whatever you've got to live your life right now, you should put it on a piece of paper. And I would put it together like the mandatory things I would put kind of in an area up here and then the things that are just luxury items then you can put down towards the bottom so I would put that down and do it in the the a monthly uh, number so you're gonna add all those items up and it's gonna give you what your survival number is now you've got to compare that against what your net check is so first of all that's item number one between you and uh, your significant other, your spouse, whatever, whoever you're sharing the household expenses with. Now I'm gonna make a side note right here and we're gonna talk about the lender for a second. So when the lender is qualifying you, I want you to keep in mind that you've got your household budget, but for qualifying, we might only be using the income of one of the people in the household. So that's something very, very important that you might know you have a secondary income coming in and you can afford the payment, but that could be very different from what the lender thinks. So we do have instances where usually for credit reasons, one of the uh, couple, partners, household cannot be on the loan. In that instance, we're just using the income from one of the people. So keep that in mind, you wanna to talk to a lender as soon as possible. So do get your survival number, but then after you do that, it's really important that you talk to a lender as soon as possible to make sure that you know what the lender can think you can afford, okay? So now what we're gonna do is go over what the lender does when they're uh, figuring out how much house you can afford. So. We use gross monthly income. So keep in mind as well that income that you might receive that we can't verify like cash or maybe you get a bonus or overtime or commission, those things have to have a two year history. So again, it's really important that you get with a lender as soon as possible. Your income that you're calculating might be different than what the lender is gonna calculate. So we go by monthly gross income uh, in the lending in the lending industry okay so for example uh, let's say that your income is four thousand dollars per month gross this is before taxes so a general formula it's not set in stone but it's general a general formula that you can use is 43 percent it's 40 to 43 percent of your gross monthly income can be used for uh, qualifying for the house payment. So if you make four thousand a month, that's uh, monthly times forty-three percent. You get one thousand seven hundred and twenty. So that potentially would be what we would consider your approvable housing payment. Now another segue. 
there are things that can diminish that number or decrease it. So if you have lots of high debt, credit cards, student loans, other things, we might be reducing that number. So just keep in mind that how much house you can afford depends on who's in your household, can we count that person on the credit application, and what other kind of debts that you have. So this is just to give you some generic talking points, that's the purpose of this video. Um, and you want to make sure to get that household budget in order as soon as possible, but then also talk to a lender as soon as possible. Hope you found this helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.